This episode is brought to you by the Moomoo Moo Investing app. If you are a new investor, use the Moomoo Moo Investing app so you can start your investing journey. Or if you already have trading platforms, come on over to Moomoo Moo so then you can have access to many different tools that'll help you to kill in the game. The link is pinned to the top comment. Put one penny on there and they'll send you five free stocks on the summer special. But let's talk about it. This is not financial advice. I just hope you brought your oven miss, baby, because it's about to get hot in the kitchen. Now, don't invest in companies you don't understand and don't believe in because if they dip, then you're not going to buy the dip and then you're going to sell low and be right back here crying to me. And if you know the rest, Put it in the comments, baby. Let's talk about it. First banger on the list, and I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell. I'll give you the facts, and you be the judge. First banger on the list is Google. Ticker symbol G-O-O-G-L, and no E at the end, right? That's the ticker symbol. It's Google Class A stock. Now, understand this. Google is $2,363. I know you're looking at this and you're like, yo, this is a lot of money, right? Understand, we live in a world where you can buy fractional shares, aka buy a piece of the pie until you get a whole piece. But even better than that, Google is going to do a stock split on July 15th, which we'll talk about in a second. But they're going to do a stock split, which is going to split this 20 times, family, and bring it closer to the $100 level. But let's see. Google is currently up 5% on a day. It's up 8% on a week. And it's down 3% on a year, meaning it's digging itself out of the hole that 2022 has been for most stocks, especially kind of big tech stocks. But I wanted to take a second and just really talk to you. Understand this. So many people are so into getting rich quick that they actually get in the way of, first of all, getting rich quick and then also get in the way of getting rich slowly. I want to tell you this, and I don't really make promises like that because I feel like you got to... You got to just talk to the people and everybody's individual journey is different. But I promise you, if you focus on yourself and you focus and you say, look, I'm willing to put a decade into it because I'm worth it. I'm willing to put 15 years into it because I'm worth it. I'm willing to put 20 years into the grind of getting my financial situation right so I can be financially independent. I promise you, if you focus on it like that, you are going to guarantee that you get to where you want to be financially, whether that be a millionaire, multimillionaire. I'm telling you, family, but you got to put your mind to it and make a plan so you are prepared, not surprised. What are the five P's? You got to really think about that. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Say it with me again. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Say, look, look yourself in the mirror and say, I'm worth putting in 10 years, 15 years, 20 years into a grind to guarantee that I become a millionaire. If you do that, family, I promise you it's going to happen. Now, let's keep it going. Investor place. And if you appreciate that family, hit that like button. You know what time it is. I'm always going to keep it real with you straight up. Now, Investor Place, they recently posted an article and they said, plan to buy Alphabet stocks after the split on July 15th. So again, Alphabet, you see how it's in the 2000s. They're going to split that basically 20 times. That means imagine you had a $20 bill and then they turned that 20 into all ones. There's no new added money in, but it's just split up into a lot more, right? So check this out. And this is going to happen on after July 15th. So again, the 20 for one Google stock split, they're saying, and again, according to Investor Place, this is a generational buying opportunity. A lot of people are calling it that because it's coming down. But here we go. The split will put Alphabet stock at its most affordable level since January or not even since January, since IPO in 2004. But keep in mind, if it comes down to let's call it like around $100 or so, 120 this is not going to be the same 120 that it was back then because, again, the market cap, the company as a whole has grown so much that it can't necessarily grow like it grow like it grew, let's say. It can't grow like it grew from the beginning. You know, we keep it real, we keep it real. I'm going to keep it going, but I got you. It can't grow like it grew from the very beginning because it's already blown up so big. It can still grow like crazy, but imagine if you got in from the floor when it first opened, the IPO, right, in 2004. But again, we missed that boat, but it still has a lot of potential to keep going. So we're not gonna cry over no spilled milk. And we're not gonna be sold the dream. We're gonna be honest about ourselves. I know that sometimes these articles like to inflate things into, you know, how they not really like that, but let's keep it going. They said that that was a 4,000 return over the past 18 years. So again, shout out to that. Now, let's go to another article and it says, well, Alphabet soar after the stock split and here's what the history shows. So you got to look back in time and see, okay, does this make sense? Does that make sense? Add it up and say, bow, here we go. This is what I'm doing. So again, the 20 for one stock split July 15th, but they said the company has only had one stock split in the past and they're saying that the shares didn't move much immediately after the split or because of the split and then they're saying other recent stock splits like amazon for example 
hint that the overall market headwinds, like things that are coming up, like with the rate hikes and the inflation, things that are coming up in the in the investment space, right, kind of holding it back. And it will limit the impact of the stock split. Stock splits are very good for companies because more people, they say, oh yeah, I want a whole share of that. And they'll be more interested in buying it. Even though you could already buy fractional shares, people tend to prefer to like a whole share. So then they will actually just react on that. But let's see what the big dogs is doing and then compare it to what the little dogs is doing. Again, like I was telling you earlier in the beginning of this video with Moomoo, you get to see these things. So this is the Moomoo app right here. And we get to see the inflow or the outflow. So there's net inflow right now, meaning more people are buying out Alphabet stock or Google stock than actually selling it. But who is it? And we can see, I highlighted this in orange and it's on the top. And it says the extra large buys, I'm talking tens of millions of dollars worth of buys. There's basically 39 million worth of buys, but 42 million worth of sales, meaning the institutions who can pick up big chunks of the stock like that all at once, they're doing a little more selling than buying. But how is their net inflow? Because we look in the bottom, the small investors are actually buying it up, loading up on the stock in anticipation for July 15th. And straight up, Google is just a long-term hold, in my personal opinion, you do your own research, but I think it's a long-term hold because again, you probably found this video Googling it, who knows? You might be, you're on YouTube now, which is owned by Google, all of these different things, right? People are using Google for everything. So let's see, the small investors, they basically picked up 355 million of it and only sold 278 million in comparison. So way more buying from smaller investors than larger investors. Now, let's go and see what the big dogs is doing since we comparing them to the small dogs. So they own 65% of this company. So they by and large believe in it long-term. But when you look at how they're trading the stock, let's take a look. In green right here, they increased their position last quarter by 11 million shares but they're actually selling a little bit more than they are buying, but that's not even the whole story. So keep paying attention. They decreased it by 13 million. They bought 11 million, decreased by 13 million, right? So about 2 million difference and more selling than buying. However, of the 205 million institutional shares that are being held currently, 180 of that is just them holding on to it. They're selling a little bit, one share here, one share there, but by and large family, they are just straight up holding on to their Google stocks. That's how I'm playing it. When I try to look and say, yo, do I need some Google? Is my Google position filled out? And I'm like, mm, nah, I'm going, pow. If I see a price I like, I strike, and I'm loading up on Google as a long-term banger. Let's look at the price targets. What does Wall Street think? Wall Street is saying that this thing is going up 34% from where it is now. They're saying that it's currently undervalued, right? Now, of all of the analysts who rated this on the bottom, it says strong buy. 30 analysts rated it, rated it. 30 of them said buy it. They're saying that it's going to 3,163. However, remember, that's before the split. So let's think about what that's going to mean. So as it currently stands with Amazon stock at 200 or 2,363, once it splits, if it stays at this price right now, it would be 118, $118 per share. However, they're saying it's going to 3,100, right? So what would that bring it to? It would bring it from 118 after the split to about 158 or about 160 after the split for about a 34, 35% gain. Doesn't mean that it will do that, but we see what the analysts are saying in terms of the price of the stock and what it's actually worth. But what's really, really, really interesting, family, is for my stock options traders, if you wanna learn how to stock options trade, join the link pinned to the top comment, and you can see me do some live trades too and join the classes. I'm a teacher from the ground up, even if you're a beginner. Now, check this. When you look, I highlighted this in blue just for you. Where my notepad at? I highlighted this in blue just for you. Bow, put your reading glasses on, pay attention. You see this? It says at the very top, 33.85. If you wanted to buy this option up here, it wouldn't cost you $30.85. It would cost you $3,385 just for one single contract. A lot of people don't have money like that, so then they miss out on that option that went up, and I underlined it in red, 370%. But guess what? It's unlikely that you, a retail investor, was in this play because you didn't have the $3,385 most likely to be putting on an options play. But the option ran up almost 400%. But when the stock comes down, when the price of the stock is cut by 20 times, then the options prices won't be in the 3,000s and the 4,000s. It's gonna be way lower, significantly and extremely lower and way more affordable for the average person to start playing options on Google. Let's win. I love y'all, I appreciate y'all, and I hope you're having a good weekend, baby. But if you can't handle the heat of these hot stocks, just stay out of the kitchen and consider investing in index funds. i see you in the next one. I love y'all and take care.